Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening. And today is Awakening um, 115. And I'm going to teach you a technique called anchoring because you see, the thing is, whatever I learn, I teach, okay? And so I decided, um, I've been doing this NLP course, New Linguistic Programming, and we did this process called anchoring. And I was laughing so much that I thought, I've got to teach it to you guys because I want to help you to come out of certain states. And anchoring, really, what it does, it takes you from, um, you could be in a state where of rejection, where something not so good has happened, or you could be in fear of rejection. And so what you do is you take that, oh, sorry, next play not today. What about you guys, essential symptoms? I've got my hematite. I've got my shungite. <laughs> I'm doing a law of attraction course today, um, which is, this is my break <laughs> uh, online. And then, of course, we've got the, um, I've got live tonight. So join us at um, 7.30. So I'm back to my normal color. I'm a brunette. And I'm back to being a brunette at the moment. So anyway, where was I? I was going to teach you anchoring. The ego is checking out everything as usual. Okay, so anchoring. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to think of something like um, I, I'm really, really worried about um, what's going to happen with something. I don't know. Just think of something that you're not happy about something that's not working in your life, something that you're worried about, something that you're not coping really well with, and then we're going to anchor it into something else, okay? So um, there's a couple of things you can do. The first thing is you think of what you're not happy about, okay? So you've got that image in your head, then I want you to really think about it and get a feeling. I, with me, I had butterflies in my tummy, really strong butterflies in my stomach, and I was really nervous about rejection and something else, you know, so basically think about that. Then we're going to take some different states, okay? So I want you to think about a time when you were really powerful. Like for me, it's when we finished Edinburgh and I can hear the crowd roaring way. And we said, we did it, we did it. We saw that every night and I can smell the smell of the flowers. And, and, I, and we were all sweating and hugging and laughing. I can hear everyone, all the clapping. And I remember going outside into the car and I thought I'll ring my dad and tell him this was when he was still alive because he sponsored it. And this was um, 2014. And oh my God, that was the happiest time of my life. And we were all together, you know, Jacob and Martin and Helen and Johnny. And, and we all did such an amazing show. You know, we all worked together and Helen did all the food and everything and drove us everywhere. It was just the best time in my life, my best memory. So you get that, okay, power, and you get a word to go with it. So it'll be power, power, excitement, Edinburgh. Okay, so that's your first one. Then you want to get something that makes you laugh, something that's funny. So I think of Mrs. Brown's boys and, you know, I think about the one where she picks up or he picks up the phone. <laughs> Talk to Bob and Bertha about that one. Picks up the phone. It's not really a phone and it's not vibrating. <laughs> it's a vibrator. Oh, it's just so funny. So crazy, okay? So then you think of another, so say we've got two things, okay? So the first thing you're going to think about is I'm going to think about power and I'm going to click my fingers, Edinburgh. Click my fingers and I'm going to hear Edinburgh. See Edinburgh, the colors, the sounds, everything, everything, everything. Click my fingers and I'm back in Edinburgh again. Yeah, I'm back there again. Okay, click my fingers, I'm back there again. Do this as many times as you want. You can clap your hands, you can click your fingers, but there you are, back in your power, in your power spot. Okay, now the second thing, as I said, you're going to think of something that makes you laugh. So I'm thinking of Mrs. Brown's boy. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now go back to the thing that you feel rejected about. Okay. 
uh, what happened to me yesterday was so funny because instead of feeling butterflies, I started to laugh because I was associating rejection with Mrs. Brown's voice. So I clicked and started to laugh. Felt power from Edinburgh, okay? And you keep doing this until you get rid of that feeling of rejection. And it goes down, 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 because you have changed your state through anchoring, okay? Another thing you can do is if you're standing up, I'm not, I'm sitting, but I'll, I'll show you, is you think about what's upsetting you. And then you think, you walk and you say, you walk into a circle and you go, power! <laughs> or Mrs. Brown's voice. And you really, really feel it. The colors, the sound of people laughing in Mrs. Brown's voice. And then you think about, go back into that space Rejection. Doesn't feel the same, does it? Anyway, let me know how you're getting on. This is a really, really amazing tool you can use through the ascension when rejection is coming up or any time in life. Uh, if you want any more help, then contact me, moving on tv1 at gmail.com. As you know, I'm an intuitive psychic and I do coaching, I do lots of different stuff. And we'll see how much if I can help you. Obviously, I do anything I can to help you. That's it. So you can help yourself by trying to do these things. And uh, that's anchoring. Um, so let's just get a card. How should they say in the crazy world? Um, guys, I know we're not sleeping at the moment. I know the energies are all over the place. So take it easy today. <laughs> can you see the number? Oh, my God. Look at the number on that card. Look, 17, <laughs> choose again. And that's what we've been told. Enjoy the show or choose another card. Shall we choose another card? Let's choose another card. Whoops, that one fell on the floor. We're meant to have it. Okay. Right, two, therapy. So if you really need therapy, this is telling you, a good caring therapist may take the pressure from my family and friends and help me to let go by, by easing my mind and my heart. Sometimes you need therapy, okay? And then the second arrow, which is such an important thing. You could have had, you could have woke up feeling not so good, like a bit shitty. Something not so nice may have happened. The second arrow, the Buddha says, is when you actually act on it. So if you don't act on it and you do an anchoring and you can actually deal with that feeling very quickly by anchoring, as I say, by clicking Mrs. Brown's voice, <laughs> you know what I mean? The mind just jumps very quickly to that scenario. Today, I'm not going to let myself be hit by another arrow. It's very easy to be hit by the arrows. Very easy to be hit by the arrows. So I wish you a beautiful day. I'll keep this short and sweet. Join us tonight, 7.30. We've got, I've got life. I don't know, this might go on at night or, I don't know, sometimes I, I get inspired to do two awakenings, but I'm not allowed to do a lot of work at the moment. I hope you're drinking your water. I'm drinking my water. Um, I've got to drink two bottles of water a day, at least, and fruit juices, and keep hydrating and hydrating and meditating and anchoring, keep anchoring, keep bringing yourself back to those positive feelings. Now, just before we end, um, I do need to tell you something about that because if you don't want to think, say for example, I made a mistake yesterday. Today I could do the Edinburgh thing, but yesterday it made me feel sad because I'm not in that space and I'm not doing things like that. So it made me sad and it didn't actually help me. So what I'm going to say is, um, it's like the emotional scale, you know, Abraham Hicks, uh, the law of attraction. You cannot get from depression to total elation because that's bipolar. <laughs> you, got, you know, you've got to go slowly, you've got to go from depression into anger, into all sorts of different emotions, okay? eventually you get into elation if you go in a nice gentle way and not in a bipolar way 
where you jump from depression to elation. That's not what we want. We need to be grounded. So yesterday I had to use something completely different. So what I use is something that I can do every day, which is moving on TV. And it makes me feel powerful to come on to moving on TV. And then I, I did that little promo with Peace the Cat for the show tonight. For our party tonight, I've got life. And I did, I got life. And I click, click, click. And then I thought of myself dancing. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. And I'm, you know, in my mind, I'm dancing. I feel the body move. I hear the music, the fantastic singing of music of air. <laughs> of air, <laughs> which is now my favorite. Uh, pastime hair and the musical hair and that's it and then you click and that's it you get yourself back into that state so I love you lots have a beautiful beautiful day relax do anchoring let me know how you get on let me know how you get on but as I say if, if you don't feel that going to um, a past situation when you felt empowered is going to help you go to something you can actually do now it's got it's something that you can pick up and do quite quickly, you know, depending on what your life is. Like, if you want to feel good, pick up your cat and cuddle them or your child. And you can do the same when you feel loved. Oh, I feel love. I feel love. And then click, click. And the, the word could be oh, relief, peace. Okay, let me know how you get on. Uh, I hope this helps you and I hope it, you can get yourself. If you can't, then contact me and we'll do it together. I love you lots. Take care now. Bye.